Go. Good girl. Hi, and welcome to Kona with Wally Merana. You're very happy today, Kona. Yes, she's very happy because she's waiting right now for her piece of pollito. Yes, and this episode, I'm going to show you how she eats, not today under the table. Now I switch to eat under the chair. Why I found very important to eat under the church instead to eat under the table? Because sometimes we go to small places and especially small restaurants and there is no way that she can fit under the table because sometimes the table is the same size like the chair. So I taught, taught her to go under the chair and I started doing this last week. Um, so I can practice a, a lot of this at home before going to the real place outside how i did it first she needs she needs to know how to go down then i go step by step and to go under the table i go i tell her to go with a little piece of chicken go down and i take that come on come on let's go up let's see i tell her to, the, the things that she knows now but I, I i take a little piece of chicken okay and I move it with my hands and I use all my body language, like voice and, and the hands, to point her to go under. Good girl. And she already knows what is down. So before teaching her to go under the table, she needs to know what is be down in, in order to go step by step. So she knows what is eating under the table since a while ago because she goes out a lot to many restaurants right oh well, yes you go but now this this is new for her for going under the chair that is a little bit more difficult what i do is i practice in the living room between the sofa and the long table there's like a little skinny it's a skinny tunnel you can do maybe between the wall and the sofa or between the the wall and, and your bed something that it makes like like a uh, uh, a whole way very very skinny down good job down good job crawl yes crawl good girl crawl yes crawl crawl yes good job Crawl. Yes. Good girl. Me. Down. Shh. Down. Yeah. Shh. Hey, relax. Down. A. Hey. No. Nadie dijo roll. Adi. Down. Yes. Crawl. I push a little bit, slightly, not too much, on the on her butt. This way. Down. Uh uh. Relax. Shh. Easy. Easy, relax. You do a good job. Leave it. Leave it. Crawl. Uh -uh. This one goes down. Uh -uh. Go back this way. Yes, down. Good. Uh -uh. No, down. Yes, good. Good job. That's a good girl. Let's see, see, so no desperation. Relax, leave it, leave it. I place the back hand, I put it in the back, slowly. Scroll, yes, good job. I need to make sure that she doesn't see my left hand. If not, she's looking like, oh, What's going on? What she's doing in my back? So I go like super slowly. This is really, really hard for me. This is not easy. Even for you. Say. Easy. Crawl. Yes. Good girl. Good job. That's a really good girl. Crawl. Yes. Good girl. Even if it's super tiny, I tell her good job. Crawl. Crawl. Yes, good job. 
over and over and over, we repeat it, and then I do this, the crawl, under the chair. But under the chair, it will be, at the same time, it is difficult, but not difficult, because she doesn't have uh, the opportunity to go up, because she knows that she will, like, touch the, the chair, right? So I think this is a good practice, using, like, a small... A hallway like a small tunnel like the wall and the sofa the bed and the and the wall etc because it creates like a, a small space instead an open space that's what I believe and that's what works for for us right let's continue bye bye Un besito. once she knows what is the, the, the crawl I took the little piece of cheese and I put it in the other side wait I go to the other side and whatever opposite side is under the chair. On, under, under. Good girl. So now I'm going to have my lunch, eat with her under, and let's see how it is. Under, under the chair. Yes, stay. Good girl. Since this is something new for her at the beginning, I give her a little bit of pollito. Yeah, stay at your place. That's a really good girl. Good job. Mm. Delicious. I'm gonna do. Do you do a good job? Yes, you did a really good job as a good girl. Muy bien. She behaved wonderful. She behaved really good. And now she gets un poquito. So I stay here. I, I just, I only gave her the little piece of treat at the beginning because I have been doing all this new trainer since last week and it's a kind of new. It's not like when I eat under the table, when she eats under the table, that she, when I, when I start doing all the, taking the dishes on the plate, everything to come here to the table, to sit down. I come here, she's already under the table, waiting for me. That's something that she does by herself. And now, since this is something new, um, and she's not too much familiar under the chair. At the beginning, I give her a little piece of pollito, and she's super happy. I'm with it. Everybody. Now we can go to the restaurant. Yes, that's a good girl. If you like this episode, uh, just give her a corner like. Yeah, that's a good, good girl. And keep a word for the, the next one to continue learning together. And tell me how you do with your dog when you go to a restaurant or to small places. Actually, do you go or you don't stay home? Keep your dog with you. That's a really good girl, Kona, right? Good job. <laughs>